Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So it's been a little bit since I played. I haven't had the time to sit down and like record a bunch all at once like I normally do. I don't remember precisely where we were. Let's see. Sweater t-shirt. Yeah, we need to do all this stuff again because we haven't... I haven't got through any of it with this character. I right, got our wooden needle, get our hands taken care of before they freeze off here. Liners. Those are taken care of. Head and eyes. No head and mouth. Did we have the cotton hat available last time? I feel like we didn't because I thought we uh, were having trouble. No, I think it was our face that was having trouble, not our head. But yeah, for the head, the cotton hat's really good. Oh, I don't think we had trouble with our head because we had a hood. These plastic bottles empty. We can make a pair of safety glasses without that much trouble. <clears throat> see. What's in our inventory? I think that's the one it's referring to. Otherwise, it would have told us. can go ahead and try to drink through this. No, I don't feel too bad about doing that. Empty glasses, some person. There is more somewhere, I just don't know where it's at. Go. Cold mouth. Simple patchwork scarf, the best one, or do we. I think the long one isn't any more warm. I think it's just a compatibility thing. There's the knit scarf and wool scarf, but... Yeah, the simple patchwork is fine. And we might also need the... Mouth cover? Maybe not. Alright, we do need storage, though. Packs, we can make a duffel bag. Wooden panel, planks, long rope, and five short ropes. Makeshift knapsack. Or just the sling like we had last time. How long does it take to build a duffel bag? An hour? We might just want to build a makeshift sling just for a time rather than anything else. Well, that is nice that we can build that if we needed to. T-shirt and sweater apparently are conflicting with each other. I thought the sweater used to go on the overlayer, but I guess it doesn't anymore. Some sneakers. How cold is it outside? Yeah, okay, we're still okay. We can still possibly get more done before we go out there. We're not in quite the hurry that we were that first time. So 
Let's see, let's uh... Actually carry stuff around with us now. now we have some carrying capacity. It's very scary out there, at least with the monster evolution too high up. Into the crude sword. Might be a good idea. Just to upgrade the two bite sword into the crude sword. Butcher the sheets. Short strings, and then butcher those into more thread. Okay. Of course, now I can make the knapsack, but her backpack, that's okay. Make a cloak. Legs will get cold. So they got cold last time. It doesn't seem like we're wearing much warmer stuff than we were before, so let's go ahead and make the long underwear bottom. What happens? stuff near it. I'm not using the tables for some reason. I'm supposed to use the tables. Alright, that should help our warmth a little bit more. Now, there's never a wrong button they can here. Same for our top. Right now we're just wearing a stupid t-shirt. We can put the long underwear top on, take the t-shirt off, and not have as much encumbrance. There we go. Well, it's higher overall encumbrance, I think, either way, but we're not having extra because of the other stuff now. Should be good enough to get us started, at least. Now, what was this? Homeless camp. Pretty much useless. Oh yeah, this is the one that has the acid ants out there. Pretty lightly equipped, but I'm not too worried. When you have the ants in your spawn, or fungaloids or anything like that for that matter, you can handle a lot of zombies by just letting the ants kill them. So you see there's already a bunch of goop out here. Sick soldier ant. For some reason it's using like a fox icon? That doesn't look like an ant to me. I guess it is. I guess it is. Massive... Oh, it's woolly. <laughs> Probably still want to stay away from the soldier ants. Yeah, they'll chase after the zombies and... Oh, they're fighting. There's a skeletal juggernaut already! Okay, well, now we know. 
that that's just how things are. Luckily, the ants are kicking their ass. Oh my god, really? Sometimes this happens with builds of this game. We started seeing this build earlier. The game will just start spawning too much of one type of unit. And right now it's spawning too many skeletal juggernauts and too many dissoluted devourers. Especially those early in. It's not a matter of evolution factor at all. That makes me feel better. I was feeling a little bit when I started this one. I was like, oh, I don't really want to make it easier by turning down their evolution rate. But no. <laughs> Turns out I'm perfectly fine having turned that down. So, this just became a wilderness survival game. That's fine. I've kind of wanted to do that time to time anyway. But it doesn't mean things are going to be a little bit tricky. Because we can't rely on in-town looting that well. So, we need to kind of take stock of what we got. Is it like colder or warmer down here? It's actually warmer in the basement. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we're just going to kind of grab a little bit of everything. And we're going to sort out what we do have. So we can take stock of what we do need to do. And of course we're going to Actually, is this... It does have light, but it's still just cloudy. It's not that great. Drop all this in here. Put these three items by the door, since we're going to need them. Luckily, there's all these rations and stuff now, which is really interesting. I wonder what they're planning to do with that exactly. Like, are all these rations and stuff here to make the early game easier for people? So you can actually spend some time just in the base before they have to venture out. Probably necessary, <laughs> if they're making the inside of towns that difficult now. I know, I just moved those stuff over there, but it's fine. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is. It's hard to know if it's just kind of bugged right now, or if they're just testing the Devourer and the Juggernaut. Or if this is actually their plan of how they want the game to run later. Because like I've mentioned before, like the zombie bears used to spawn out of control too. But they fixed that. Except in our last game where we ran into one immediately. Which is actually, now that I think about it, it's going to make the wilderness survival part of this a little bit tougher. I also have to say, I think that, well, I guess we were really weak from being emaciated. I was going to say, it seemed like it was a lot stronger than they used to be. Used to be able to fight like two of them in a row without being in too much of a bad spot, but. Okay. Alright, so. Plan W. To check the nearby forest to see if it has water. If it doesn't have water, we might have to move to this shelter just so we're closer to the swamp. And it might also be worth trying to check out this cabin to see what it has. What is the stock of like drinks and food? We have 22 rations and 11 water. Yeah, that makes it pretty interesting. What are they planning to do with that? 
I was looking at our characters like, are we holding a shield? But no, it's it's the it's the sling pack. I was like, how do we get a shield? We should grab at least our like multi tool though before we go out. Multi tool matchbook, cell phone. I want to check out this cabin. Bit of a risk. As long as we avoid the ants. Luckily, we should be able to use the ants to kill zombie bears and stuff if that happens again. A, bit, a little bit of a hike. Oops, I accidentally... Hid my recording interface, but that's alright. See, when we're back on this sound pack, we have that annoying sound effect of playing over stuff. I think the first one was okay, it was just kind of over the top when you were taking damage. So we'll probably go back to that. I wonder if we can switch it on the fly here. Some things you can just change and other things it's like, yeah, you have to reload. Nah, it doesn't change. We have to restart the game. It's not even like main menu either. You have to completely exit out and restart. So we're not going to bother right now. What are these? Dead vegetation. Shrubbery. And a grove. Grove could be interesting. It's still quite a ways away though, actually. Well, the sticks over here, brother. There's a crate in here. Oh, dead vegetation. There's like tons of sticks and logs out here. Holy crap. Never seen this before in my life. Okay. Sounds good to me. Step into Blackberry Bush, please. I suppose this is a crater. Hmm. I wonder if you dig in the middle if you can find something. All right, cabin. Oh, it's a it's a dinky little cabin. More craters. Sometimes these cabins can be like actual real buildings, but this one just seems like a rundown shed. These used to just like kind of just spawn without being marked. Okay, so that's a lot less interesting. There's just a pond here though, which is kind of cool. Oh, we're not to the cabin. This is just one of those weird spawn things. Cabins over here. I actually kind of like that though. It's just random generation, but it's kind of interesting that these two things kind of spawn next to each other. Alright. Hopefully, there's no dissoluted devourers in here. Uh, I prefer not to break windows if we can. Let's take a look around because last time we broke windows, there was other ways in. Oh, this place is pretty decked out, actually. Alright, I do have to bash a window open, though. Oh, there seems to be no zombies in here. It's a lot of stuff. Not necessarily good stuff, but it's stuff. suit if we ever get super cold. Regular blankets. Travel pack here. Does it have a description? I kind of wanted to read the description if it had one, but I don't think I've seen one of these before. Must be a new backpack type of item. Actually, Hiking pack, he's for short trips. Definitely a lot better. So, 
Oh, we better better wear that first, otherwise it'll cause issues. There we go. Got some books here. Got a fireplace, which is great. This is a wood stove, right? Wood stove. Those look like cargo pants. They are. They don't fit well, though. But the storage is pretty good. We'll have to think about that one. Tons more stuff. Jeez. There we go. Leather gloves are pretty good. Pretty good at the start of the game, at least. We can get rid of the light gloves. And the leather gloves. There's cat ears in here, too. Hoodie and a headlamp. I might be able to wear the hoodie. It might make us too warm, but I'll go ahead and put it on for now. There we go. That's more travel, or more carrying capacity. Uh, let's compare the regular pants to the cargo pants real quick. Just to see like how much more. How much more encumbrance there are? Like three times the encumbrance for an extra liter and a half of storage. Eh. If we can fit, make them fit, it's worth it right now. I don't really think it is, though. Blanket, pillow, pillow. Possibly check out the roof, but... I tend to always fall off the roof. Here. <laughs> it's a silly thing to have to save for, but every time I go up, I can't get back down, but nothing going on up here though. See, it says you can't go down here. Save and quit because to go right back in. I don't know why. I don't know why you can climb up and then not climb down. Okay, I think we're gonna move to this cabin. This is a kind of interesting spot. We have as much water as we need. I hope it's not frozen though. It's not frozen. <laughs> Just even a slide for some reason. Got access to the woods. We'll probably break this building down for like um, imaginable <laughs> unimaginable amounts of wood if we need to. Yeah, it just seems like a kind of interesting place. We haven't done like a cabin run before. So why not? It's too dangerous to live in town. So we'll just head back for war. Okay, let's see. My underwear top. Yeah. Surprise, we're warm. Still. Hear that sound effect? Still a little warm. Alright. Right up in here somewhere is gonna be... Oh, because I restarted the game, the sound effects are new. Alright. I get it, I get ya. I was like, why is there new sound effects all of a sudden? Yeah, this is much better. Not that super annoying climbing sound every time you walk over deep terrain, you know? 
Every time we go through this, we probably are risking zombie bear attacks and stuff, but... Once we get all of our stuff brought back, it should be fine. First is the food, first aid kits, can opener, gallon jug, soap, unnecessarily the sticks. Bread is pretty useful, glass bottle is pretty useful. How are we doing? Still have a lot of capacity. I don't need emergency blanket. I guess I'll grab the scrub brush. I don't really know what I need it for, but. Shouldn't need any of those. Grab one of these pamphlets just to have it. And I think we're just gonna kind of grab stuff here. If it's not heavy, I'll grab it pretty much. It's just a matter of like tin cans or sticks. That'll leave us some space. Alright, run me back. Does this character have the half faster stamina regeneration? Yeah, the fast metabolism. Cool. So that will be a little bit of a challenge with this run because because we can't raid the towns easily. We're gonna have to uh, finding food's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. With any luck, we'll just be able to fish in the pond. I don't know if there's any fish in there though. So much more interesting now that there's like a lot more varied terrain in the woods. It used to just be just trees. One singular type of tree and then bushes and young trees. And that was it. I keep confusing this building with the with the shed. still running out of stamina, dude. I stopped to turn the running off and I guess it didn't take for some reason. I, I should unlock that on the way in. Uh, loop. That one's left. Let's catch our breath so we don't have to listen to this guy pant. And we'll just toss all our stuff in here for now. And we'll sort it out later. We're out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. And subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.